hey world um so before i get started you know let me go through and get the disclaimer out of the way here you know no suing legal actions against me for any consensual or not consensual viewings please see the disclaimer on the videos in the description on the home page etc um but for this one i guess i just wanted to give an update to uh last week's um lost and confused and teachers and i love you series and everything else um so it was pretty much uh, hellacious and whatnot. Uh, as I mentioned in my confession series of, you know what, <sighs> individuals and adults just weren't meant to live together, especially parent and children, especially when it comes to dysfunctional families and I guess alpha males are those that have problem living and rooming with others, etc. But, uh, I'll say that I went through and I got a tent and I started camping out in the backyard and I have to tell you that uh, you know I personally enjoy it and like it it's my own sense of freedom away from the damn misery and agony but at the same time I've always been a nature person so I like being uh, in the outdoors, uh, out with nature, and because I never really um, had a chance to really go, I guess, real camping, either out in the mountains or go hiking and uh, setting up camp and whatnot with some friends or just some groups. It's uh, my own, I guess, uh, cheap, individualized camping, but being out there, you know, I definitely get a chance to take in the the midnight air the midnight breeze um, you know getting a chance to see the moon and the stars I do hear a lot of crickets and frogs croaking at night um, even though I pretty much live out on the outskirts of town but because it's more so on the countryside and I guess right where it's the backyard there are some pine trees that's the leaves are just pretty much covering the sky so I can't really get as good of a view of the night sky as, as I would like but it's still definitely nice nonetheless so um, sitting out there you know and once the no, uh, not noise pollution but the light pollution um, dims down a bit you know get to see the midnight blue um, of the sky and like I said the moon out there if the tent was positioned I guess more open and there weren't as many trees and branches uh, covering that particular spot where I camped out at you know the view looking up would definitely be very nice um, and because it's autumn uh, or supposedly it's the month of it getting there where September and hopefully soon you know October the leaves are starting to shed um, you know it's <sighs> being out there the twilight breeze is definitely uh, very nice um, you know if if anything I have to worry about so much of it being cold because there's always some sweats and some coats and definitely a lot of mink blankets um, and fleece blankets so it's definitely definitely nice also you know I, I lived out in Wisconsin for two or three years so I survived the 120 some inches of uh, snowstorms for the winters you know driving in six to ten inches of slush on the on the road and pretty much you know every two days scooping off like 10 to 12 inches of snow off the car and everything and like I said the wind chills and some nights it gets really cold up there you know I've endured the negative 10 uh, de degree weather down there you know and down here in NC the winter is what don't get below 50 40 you know it's 
that season to still be wearing shorts, you know? So, I don't know, it's just one of those things, but uh, just wanted to go through and uh, share with my viewers that uh, I guess that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Yeah, I pretty much like the, the peace of mind and the peaceful time somewhat, um, you know, of being in my tent and camping out. And uh, so it's nice. But like I said, I'm going to title uh, this video, uh, you know, Moon Stars, Crickets, and, and Frogs, you know. So just along those lines, but I figure I update you guys on that. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.